This is going to be a quick look at cameras and projectors in Cinerella. Uh, I'm going to show you the, basically how they work. If you want a longer explanation, you can go to the manual files on, uh, on the Cinerella website. But let me start off by just importing uh, some video clips here. I'll just import the two video clips I've been using. Uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, replace the current project. And what that does is it has now added uh, both videos, one below each uh, the other. Uh, just for this tutorial, I'm going to delete the audio tracks just to fit everything on the screen better and make it simpler for you to see what's going on in the tutorial. So I have one video on top of the other. I'm going to disable the armature on a... I'm going to de-arm the second track. Up here in our compositor, you'll notice you have some tools on the side here. I've already showed you the masking tool. But we also have the camera automation and projector automation. Let's start with camera. You'll notice as I move, I'll click here and grab and just move my mouse around. And what that's doing is basically moving our viewpoint. So if I move to the left and up, you'll see our, our image goes down and right, just as if there's a person standing there and you move your camera up and left, they'd move down and right in the view on the camera. So that's, uh, that's the camera view. I'm gonna hit Z to undo what I just changed. Projector, uh, projector is probably uh, what you'll use more often, and that's just click and drag and it moves where the image is being projected. So I can move that one there. I can then unarm that first track and arm the second one and now I can move the second one. Uh, you can also set keyframes doing so, so I can set this image here and then I can go forward a bit and grab it and move it over here. Now as we move through our timeline you'll see the image in the back moving there. I can do the same with the front by selecting it. I, will, I still have keyframe uh, selection on. I'll just put that there I'll move back a few frames and move it down like this. So now when I press play, our video comes into play here. Uh, so I'm going to hit Z a few times and just undo all those changes I made. Okay, delete that track. Uh, another way you can do this, uh, if you want to get more of a definite left and right without the up and down movements, is if you go to your views, you'll see that you have your camera X, Y, and Z and projector X, Y, and Z. And that's uh, well, that will do. We'll add, and I'll just add a projector X, um, a band which controls the X axis, which is the left right movement of the projector. I will disable the bottom video here, and I will go. Right now we're at uh, five seconds or about six seconds. I'll move back to about one and a half seconds, right about there. And I will click a spot on the band there. And then I will go to here and I will click there and I will drag down and you'll see our image moves to the right. And you can move it to the left. Now the band is a little constraining. There's, there's only so far it will let you go. Uh, in in that mode, but it is a way to move partially the way you're going without uh, having to worry about up and down movement, or if you want to go up and down, you can go up and down without moving left and right. Uh, so in, in ways you could use this, let me undo my keyframes here and I will turn off the projector band there. Um, is if you go to video effects, a way that I normally find that I use this would be to go to scaling. I can scale this image down now, uh, like so. Oh, let's click constraint uh, ratio so it changes both X and Y size at the same time. I can shrink that video down and now I can uh, grab that image and move it up here. I can now select this other track, add scaling to it and constraint ratio and I will shrink it down and put it over here. So you can have kind of a picture in picture and once again you can animate how these move by uh, turning on keyframes. Uh, I'll set a keyframe here for this one and then I'll go back to here and I will move it off screen. Now if I press play that video comes sliding in from the side. I can do the same for the top track 
I will go to about a second or so in, two seconds in. I'll move it up over here. Actually, two seconds in, I want it here. I have keyframes on, so that keyframe set, go back to the beginning, move it up over here. Now when we press play, both our videos come sliding in. Obviously, the speed of how fast it slides in depends on how far apart you set those keyframes. If you set them five seconds apart, it's gonna be a five second transition. It'll be real slow. If you do it half a second, it'll become flying in at half a second. So that is how you play with projectors and cameras in Cinerella. Hope you find that useful. For more videos and tutorials like this, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Films by Chris, Chris with a K, K-R-I-S. The link is in the description. Have a great day.